<laughs> oh, here's just something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> edit this thing. these two have been together, their love for and understanding of each other has grown and matured. Now that, we decide, now that they've decided to live their lives together as husband and wife, this is a day to celebrate. Let's start this celebration with a reading from the love chapters, which is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Would you join me in a word of prayer to ask the Lord's blessing on, on a celebration today? Abba Father, creator, designer of marriage, we come to you this afternoon asking that you be glorified in all that takes place here that this ceremony would honor you and reflect the seriousness of the vows to be spoken. Father, may this service be a reminder to us who have spoken similar vows to our spouses in the past. May it be instructive to those who are considering the same commitment in their future. Lord, let this ceremony be the perfect beginning for Jordan and Michaela as they commit themselves before friends and family to live a life devoted to one another and to you. And we will give you all the glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Who is giving this woman to join with this man? Thank you. 
additionally to thick and thin and in sickness and in health, I promise to accomplish one of the greatest streaks any human could ever wish to pursue. I'll tell you I love you every single day for the rest of our lives. I promise as we venture through the rest of our lives together, I will always be by your side, loving you, pushing you, celebrating with you. I will always put you first, and I will give you and the boys my absolute best for the rest of my days. his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. He sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever, ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us. His love is made complete in us. Today, Jordan and Michaela, you are becoming one in that love. Before God and the friends and family gathered here, <coughs> Jordan and Michaela, what token are you giving today as a pledge of the sincerity of your vows? That's my good. Jordan? <coughs> Will you take the ring and place it on Michaela's left hand and repeat after me this promise. I give you this ring as a sign of my faith and commitment to our love. Share this joy with me today. Let it remind you always as it circles your fingers of my eternal love surrounding you day and night. With this ring, I seal the commitment I have made to you today. May you wear it proudly as my wife. Michaela, take Jordan's ring and place it on his left hand. And repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of my faith and commitment to our love. Share this joy with me today. Let it remind you always as it circles your fingers of my eternal love surrounding you day and night. With this ring, I seal the commitment I have made to you today. Mama. May you wear it proudly 
as my brother. <coughs> Today, the Unity Cross. Oh, the what? The Unity Cross. I didn't know nothing about it. Oh. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa Chris has got Hudson. I wondered who that was. <laughs> 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 There's baby brother over there. His brother Jordan is getting married. Today, Jordan and Michaela have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. One strand represents God and his majesty. <coughs> One strand represents, represents the groom and his life. One strand represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, Jordan and Michaela have just demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage, woven in every aspect of it. Ecclesiastes 4.12 reads, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Today, Jordan and Michaela have been woven together by God as one in marriage. One man, one woman, and God. It was God who taught us to love. By keeping him at the center of our marriage, his love will continue to bind you together as one throughout your marriage. Would you pray with me? Father God, we are just so very blessed to be a part of this celebration together of Jordan and Michaela. Father, may you just uh, empower each one of us here present today to uh, lift these two through their days moving forward. There's going to be easy days. There's going to be some rough days. And we just ask, Lord, that uh, you guide and direct them. And when we're called upon it, may we step in, whether it's a hug or a, uh, just uh, words from you, Father, to give them words of encouragement guidance and direction through you. We just ask that you uh, watch over and protect Jordan and Michaela 
Hudson and Jackson as they uh, come together as a family. Bless them. Bless each one present today, Father. As we pray these things in your son Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Jordan and Michaela, you have privileged, you have pledged to each other your lifelong commitment of love and devotion. And now, by the authority given to me as an ordained elder at Palmer First Christian Church, in accordance with state law, I declare you to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Family and friends, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Simiati. Woo!